we're very happy that Canada has uh, accepted to offer its protection, to grant its protection to Vanessa and Kiana uh, yesterday. They left Hong Kong as asylum seekers. They landed in Canada as permanent residents. The five who remain behind now uh, are uh, still at risk. And as Vanessa said this morning, one of the five is uh, Kiana's father, uh, Supun. The uh, last few weeks have been extremely hard on him. Uh, he has been hospitalized twice in the last month uh, as a result of his uh, personal crisis and uh, we do ask for Canada to, uh, to act quickly for the remaining five who are left behind. Uh, Canada has been very generous in offering its protection to Vanessa and Kiana, uh, but we also need to ask ourselves as Canadians whether we are the kind of country that would separate uh, this little girl from her brother and sister and from her father uh, forever. The government of Canada have done the right thing for Vanessa and her daughter. But really, what should have been done is all the families should have been brought into Canada at one time. So I am asking the Canadian government to recognize the dire situation my clients are in in Hong Kong. And um, while the clients are happy, very happy that Vanessa and Kiana have arrived here, uh, they are distressed and they, they are in fear that they have been left behind. All my, all my worrying, all my stress is just like gone. And I, I feel free, and I'm, I'm so happy that now I'm here in Canada. My daughter can start our new life in Canada. How's Kiana feeling? She's so excited, same like me. And she do not feel tired. And she's more exciting to see everywhere.